Holy cow, is this gonna be okay? Is my skin gonna recover from this? Welcome back to today's video. So happy to have you here. I am Ellie Brown from Uptown with Ellie Brown. And I kid you not, I was rambling on for like 10 minutes only to find out that um, I was actually not recording. <laughs> today's video, I wanna take you along with me to get a halo laser treatment done and it is a facial. And I'm teaming up with my Evergreen Med Spa right outside of the Woodlands. The, the staff there and the girls are absolutely phenomenal. Kayla specifically was absolutely amazing. Amazing. Any questions that I had, she was there, which which is great. She really knows what she's doing, which you know makes me a little bit more comfortable because this is a facial that I have not really, I haven't done. One of the reasons why I went to go do this was I had a hyperpigmentation spot right over here that I had actually gone to see a dermatologist, asked her what can I do to make this go away because you know I had tried a chemical peel, I had bought all the expensive creams, and really nothing was doing anything to this hyperpigmentation spot. And so I went in also just to make sure that it wasn't skin cancer or anything concerning, which she confirmed it was not. And she also confirmed that the only way I would really see that lift is with a halo laser treatment. This was right in around the time where I was communicating with the girls over at my Evergreen Med Spa. And so we really did confirm that that was the best route to go to try to lift some of that hyperpigmentation. Now, mind you, I, in my early days, you know, I did the, the tanning beds. I I did all that, right? I did not use SPF growing up, and while I am Latin and I do have that Latin skin, um, I was not very careful with my skin. So I do have a lot of hyperpigmentation really from sun damage that is really coming to the surface as I get older. That's where I went to my Evergreen Med Spot, right? They do anything from massages. They actually have a salt room where you can get IVs done as well. Um, and then they have the full service shebang where if you want Botox or facials or lasers, you name it, they have it all, right? So the place is absolutely a beautiful location. And again, the staff and the ladies were absolutely amazing. So yeah, we did the treatment and I gotta say, I was not really um, expecting for the treatment and for things to look the way they did. And there was a moment there that I was like, holy cow, is this gonna be okay? Is my skin gonna recover from this? You know, it did, it really did. And I really do love how my skin is 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 looking there are a couple of concerns that you'll see as the progress goes on so I'm gonna take you along I'll show you what the process was like and make sure to comment down below I'd love to love to know what you think of the healing journey I'll show you what the process was like let's just jump in shall we <laughs> The treatment itself, which probably was about 30 minutes, you get numbing for an hour before. There were a couple of spots like underneath the eye or there are a couple of areas where she would go over the with the laser a couple of times. That was pretty intense. That was like, Ugh, like ah. can you move on now please? Post treatment, she, you do, she does mention and let you know that you know your skin will burn and she did not lie for probably about an hour and a half post treatment, my skin was on fire. I sat in the car with the AC just blowing on my face because it just felt so hot. And that lasted for probably about an hour and a half. And then after that point, my skin felt fine. The day after, I woke up really swollen. So this is like the morning after update. I don't, I can't even recognize myself when I look in the mirror. My eyes are puffy. <laughs> it feels really tight right underneath here. What you saw right after the treatment, there was a bunch of little white spots on my face. All those little white spots have turned into brown spots and that is like the hyperpigmentation and like the sun damage that I have all the way around. And that is just crazy. Like, look at this. I'm really excited to see those two spots go away and I had one right over here. I did not wake up bothered or itching or anything like that. My face is just pretty, pretty swollen this morning here. Good morning, day two. Still pretty puffy. I can't tell if it looks better or worse than yesterday. My skin feels really, really dry. All these little brown spots, I swear feels like a sand, piece of sandpaper. That's how rough my skin feels. I feel like I, I look in the mirror and I don't even recognize my face. <laughs> I think it's gonna be worth it. So, 
we'll see. I have the skincare products that I am putting on. I think my skin, my skin feels fine. You know, it doesn't hurt. It just it feels very dry. It feels very, very rough. I slept fine also. We'll check back in tomorrow. I forgot to film day three. Day three, there was really much, I still had a little bit of swelling underneath my eyes. A lot of that swelling has, has gone down. The little bronze spots have come off, but I feel like I've got peeling going on again. There are, my skin is still pretty, pretty pink and red. The, this little spot right over here is where the two really prominent brown spots were. And she ran or went over this a couple of times. And so it's pretty pink and red. Um, it almost looks raw, like as if, you know, it's scabbing and healing. My face feels a whole lot better now. It's not so tight, not so rough because a lot of that little brown um, has kind of flaked off. I think my skin still has a lot of healing to do. And so, you know, the products that I'm still applying, I'm supposed to be still applying the products that they recommend um, up until day seven. So we have what, three more days left and I guess we'll just see how we'll see how the skin heals. I am about to go to my follow-up appointment. It is day five and this is what my skin is looking like. I thought I'd share and show you what my skin looks like outside because you can get a really good picture of what the skin looks like. I still have some of that you know little brown spot. There's still some pink on my skin um, that the skin I think is still healing. I just washed and applied moisturizer. I have not applied SPF yet, I'm about to, but I just, the SPF gives a, uh, a very white tint and leaves my skin looking very, very weird. So I thought I'd share my skin before what that looks like. Um, I have some breakouts here that happened, um, that that is healing but my skin is looking pretty clear. I think once the skin fully heals and some of that like pink and redness goes, goes down and goes away, my skin is gonna be looking pretty good. There was a little brown spot that was pretty po prominent right here and right over here. And you can see that is healing here. Um, and that's pretty much gone there too, so. My skin, my skin is looking pretty good. So this is the final update of my skin. It's been a couple of weeks since I recorded the final, but I figured let me show you what my skin looks like because pretty much from the last check-in into between now, my skin has just been slowly healing and this is what my skin looks like. You know, sometimes when you have facials, you go through like this purging phase where I was breaking out quite a bit. I had a second peeling that also happened, um, which she said could happen and even possibly a third peeling because the laser goes so deep into the skin. So I had a lot of break breakouts um, around my forehead, a lot right over here around my my chin and mouth. And this is really what the skin is, is looking like. I, I think my skin is still healing only because there are times like when I work out and if I get overheated, my skin, my face looks really, really pink. It gets really, really pink, which is unusual for me. And she does say that they can still happen. You can get a little bit of pink. It, I There was one time where I had like scratched my face. The way it scars, like it was like the blood rushed to my, my, my face. And I think that was just part of my skin just being super sensitive and, and fragile because of the facial. As far as the scar, though I'm gonna be completely honest you know so this was one area of concern right here where I had that sunspot there was a, a little spot above my eyebrows as well and we'll zoom in here it's lightened up quite a bit but like if I zoom out you can still see this area here she did say that it could take up to two months even three months to fully heal everything I actually have to go back and get a lightening cream to really help lift all of that it did at first look look like it lifted and like it, it was completely gone and then just in this last week it's kind of gotten a little bit darker again so I don't know what going on I don't know if the cream that she I have to go pick up is going to help really just lift that all um, I have noticed a difference in skin texture um, it has helped with the pores quite a bit this is really what the skin is is looking like um, I think there was a lot of discoloration that was lifted and my skin overall does look a lot 
brighter. Again, the skin texture looks really good. The fine lines, I don't see much of a difference with it. Um, I am also using a micro current and nano current device that is helping with the with the fine lines and and trying to delay my Botox here. But again, really my, my biggest concern and one of the reasons why I went was because of this spot over here to really lift that and discolor that. And while I think it has lightened, I was hoping it was gonna go completely away. And right now, I don't know if it's going to look like that or not. So it's just something that I'm gonna keep an eye on and I'll, uh, I'll report back. Um, because especially specifically underneath my eyes here, this was not there really, or it didn't look visible as it does now. So that's something that again, does concern me a bit. And hopefully it's just because again, everything was brought to the surface and now it's just gonna take a little bit of time for everything to fully heal and fully go away. That is my final check-in. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Would love to hear your thoughts. Have you gotten this facial and this laser treatment done? What was the journey and the experience like for you? Let me know down below. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you here again soon. Bye.